ago I had my entire life and all of my art things in a 10 by 10 mud house cob cottage and had lived in tiny homes and had lived out of my Subaru. Um, I like to call it organic symmetry. Um, I was definitely really inspired by plants and herbalism and being in nature and I made my art in nature for years and that's kind of the root of it all. Um, and as I paint, I think I kind of start from a, a central point, kind of like a seed. And then as the seed kind of germinates and grows out, it kind of spreads and creates this sort of symmetry. And um, I, I say that it's warm symmetry, whereas you look at something that's created digitally, it's exact, um, whereas Organic symmetry is kind of imperfectly perfect, you know, it's a little bit off and a little bit wavy and I do all of my measuring with my hands. So I'll be like, you know, this is one and a half thumbs this way and one and a half thumbs that way. And I like for things to flow and, and feel natural and organic and real. Really, the space just popped up. It was, I just came up out of nowhere. I really kind of saw when I set up the gallery space it had this certain feeling to me. But then after having my yeah. friends and my oh, yeah. family and yeah. people come through it, it just started vibrating in like a whole new way. And I feel like the art kind of picks up on vibration and energy and kind of holds it and then, you know, releases it again. It's like art is kind of this catalyst of vibration. And hey, the old model of galleries is kind of dying off and people want a place where they can feel comfortable and interact and talk and feel in their bodies and not feel like they're in this like white walled room where they have to be quiet and kind of move along in rows. It's kind of just like laid back and have cushions and enjoy the artwork slowly and take it in and have a glass of wine or have a cup of tea. And um, I think that's where the real Sorry. conversation happens.